Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and today we're going to be trying a new game called Robin Hood Sherwood Builders. This is an alpha demo. Robin Hood Sherwood Builders is an active adventure RPG with city building elements where we will take the role of a classic hero who fights against the tyranny and injustice of that hunts Sherwood. Fight, craft, steal, and of course, help the local community grow. It's release, It will be released TVA to be announced. Um, but you can request access right now on the Steam page, and I do have a link to the Steam page down below in the description. All right, let's get started. All right, here we are. And right off the bat, this beginning kind of reminds me a little bit of Medieval Dynasty for some reason. Maybe that's off the mark, probably is, but that's what it reminds me of, just this little starting area here. And we do have a bit of a tutorial. We have to go talk to people, and the game will teach us how to do stuff and everything. So, what do we got here? Oh, well, it is important... To mind your provisions, yeah, so drink out of the well. Got it. You can fill bottles in the well. Down here is your food and hunger. Water is easy. Yep, okay. No problem. Let's go ahead and talk to you, uh, Brother Tuck. What a sight for sore eyes. Praised be the day, for our good friend Robin is finally back. Robin of the Hood. And just as I had feared, he looks absolutely horrendous. By Mary, Robin, did you lose a fight to a bear? What trouble did you get into this time? Now, the funny thing is, I don't have to voice my own character. Check this out. Don't even ask. And it's not like you'd really believe in my misadventures anyway. Sounds like he's drunk. Well, you are a master of cock and bull stories after all. And yet, I do notice you are quite parched and exhausted. Why don't you go and have a snack? and rest in your hut for now. All right, do not I will do that. Don't worry about anything else at the moment. There is no work that cannot wait until tomorrow dawn. Okay. There's my inventory. Put stuff up on the hot bar. Beautiful. So I need to eat the food and water I've been given. So I'm going to put that as number nine and number eight. I mean, I don't really have to do this, but um, if I press eight, you can see the little food in my hand. And left click to eat it. And then we'll do the same thing with the water. Alright, now one... Th oh, hold on. Traders can be found in villages, and they are willing to buy and sell a, a multitude of items exchange for gold. To buy an item you like, pick from the list, choose quantity, and quick buy. Okay, that's pretty... Yeah, and then uh, you click on your... So okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Let's do it. I want to get some more water. We're going to go over to the well. Alright, and then you just craft the thing of water. It takes the uh, empty water container and gives you a full one. Cool. Love it. All right. So now we have to go rest in our hut, I guess. So let's just follow that little yellow marker. All right. And I... Okay. I think I went the... I think I went the long way. Is there a map? Yeah. There we go. It's right in front of me somewhere. Is this my hut? Open door. There we go. There's my bed, and there's a bird on it. Sleeping is important. Not only does it let you save the game, but it restores your health as well. Look uh, out for spots marked with. Look out for spots marked by owls and lanterns. Okay. What's up, guy? I'm going to bed. Get the hell off my bed. Uh, save the game. Season one. Are you sure you want to save this game? Sure. Why not? What's What's the worst that could happen? All right. Now we need to go back and talk to Tuck, right? Yep. Let's go talk to Tuck. Oh, I see a stamina bar. Okay. So is green my hit points? Or is green water? I don't know. Whatever. Find out. Ah, the morning breeze sure is wonderful today. And look at yourself, friend. A night's sleep has really done you a favor. Are you fully awake yet, though? I see your trusty bow is missing. I didn't forget it, Brother Tuck. And it hurts me to say that, but I've lost it on my way home. And Lady Marion as well, as I can't seem to find her. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. You probably should have told me yesterday. Is that so? In that case, get up and work the axe, for you are in need of a new bow. The wood should be good enough for both the stave and the arrows. An effortless task for a man like you, eh? Uh, if you you say could so. probably buy one from a merchant, but since we are in a dire need of a bowman, you can have the bowstring I have been carrying around. And do not worry about our Lady Marion, for she is off to forage for herbs. 
Oh, okay. It sounded like I brought her her on my travels and just kind of lost her. Come back to me after you have finished crafting your new friend, because I have a few ideas for tasks I could assign you to. Sounds good to me. All right, so I need to gather some wood. So let's follow our little yellow friends. Stamina seems pretty um, pretty forgiving in this game, which I appreciate. I hate games where they use stamina like too much. It's kind of, you know. All right, so what am I looking for here? Am I actually to cut down a tree? Do I, do I actually have an axe with me? Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll put axe number one. Careful, your tools are sturdy, but even need to be maintained. Uh, green bar. Okay, so there's uh, durability. You can repair uh, the use repair kit, which needs to come back at trader shops. Okay, <clears throat> fair enough. All right, let's finish up. Chop down this tree, doing 10 damage to it each time, I guess. It's kind of weird that damage is in green, but can I just hold down the button? No. There we go. And let's pick them up. Thank God picking them up is with E. I hate it when games use F. I mean, F is a fine key too, but E is more of like, um, you know, E is more of a staple, right? More games use E. And like going from E to F switching is just the worst. <laughs> All right, whatever. I mean, it's a very small price to pay, but it's, 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 uh, it's a challenge. Just wish that everyone would use E, that's all. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. And we'll grab some extra, because why not? You can create various items and use the crafting section. All right, got it. Crafting section it can be brought, uh, brought off Robin's inventory. Yes, it can. All right, let's grab this. Okay. Hunter's best friend. Okay, that's my journal. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect this to be in the game. That's pretty freaking cool. Look at all these stats. Man. Oh, it did say RPG. Oh, cool. And there's the map. All right, crafting. Uh, bow. I'm, I'm guessing I'm supposed to make the bow. Um, arrows are just made with wood. Thank God. I don't need to hunt feathers or anything stupid like that. Uh, craft 20 arrows. Got it. Um, they come 20 at a time. Oh, wow. Five wood for 20 arrows is pretty dope. A new lesson learned. You have gained enough experience to unlock your new traits. To unlock a trait, press H. I won't remember that. Uh, to open your character's trait screen and click the highlighted trait you want. Uh, picking a trait unlocks other traits in close proximity. Some cost more points than others, so plan ahead. All right. Well, let's take a look at that. All right. So the tree down here is max, starts off at max weight, and it seems to be a lot of mining stuff. Uh, the one to the left is straight up damage, and sword damage, bow damage, weapon damage, durability, stuff like that. Up top is seems to be critical damage, sprint speed, bow walk speed, critical chance, critical damage, and right is hit points, and slow mo energy. I guess maybe that's your stamina, uh, max health, things of that nature. Uh, I kind of tend to want to go south because I, I would like to gather stuff. Yeah, you know, like go with your gut. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Do I have any more points? Wood cutting, mining. Oh, where does it seem like... Uh, oh, available skill points, five. Okay. Now, should I be... I'm going to make a beeline for the end stuff here. Uh, hunger tolerance, thirst tolerance, wood cutting damage, mining damage. All right. Let's go... Thirst, stamina... Ooh, I like stamina regeneration. Mining damage, we'll go with uh, max stamina, mining damage, um, wood cutting damage, and another max weight. I don't know. Sure. Let's go with that. I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. Um, so I think I might not like stick to one tree. Maybe I'll go to um, the tree on the left for more damage or more hit points. I'm not sure which one. Okay. So what do we do now? We need to follow the yellow thing. It doesn't say what I'm doing now. Um, probably got to go. Yeah, I got to go talk to Tuck again. Excuse me. Coming through. I'm Robin Hood. Would you look at that? I would say that bow seems prettier than your old one. <laughs> no offense to your old companion, of course. None taken. I can't say how comfortable it feels to have one on me again. God has been kind to you, Robin. So why not repay him with some good deeds for the community? Silwich could use your help. You see, dear Robin, hunting without a skilled bowman left us short on meat. 
Would I be wrong to assume that taking on some deer should not be too much of a challenge for you today? One way to get food is to hunt, and luckily game is plentiful and sure to be found in certain spots in the forest. When it said game, I thought it meant the game. I was like, that's poor English, but no game is another you know term for animals you're hunting. Deer are careful and watchful creatures, and the best way to hunt them is to keep your distance, sneak up on them. Oh, God, sneaking. I'm not good at this. Um, sure. Sounds good. Use the bow. All you need is some arrows. Got it. I will hunt some deer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the bow as number one. Axe is number two. And we left-click to zoom in. Right-click to draw. Does it take any time to draw? No, you could shoot pretty quick. Okay, got it. Let's go look for some deer. Oh, space, space is a roller, space is a jump. Make up your mind. Got him. Man. Woo. All right. So where did he go? Uh, let's get rid of the bow because it's a little hard to see with the bow. All right, so there's the raw meat right there. Kind of hard to see in the bushes, but... All right, so I got five raw meat. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, so I figured out the best way to get deer is not to sneak in any way, shape, or form. You simply run around and listen for their little meh thingies. All right, that's the way I've killed them all. I don't know where... The oh, there's the meat. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're up to 20 meat. Five more, and we're good to go. Back at town, and we need to put the meat in the storage. Uh, Right-click. Is it just right-click? Yeah, it's just right-click. All right, there we go, and let's go talk to Tuck. Hey, get out of the way, bro. I gotta go talk to the man. The man with the plan. Where is this guy? There he is. What's up, bro? You see all that meat I got? Yeah, don't don't sneak with the deer. Just run I after them. I see you are back, alive and well. Hopefully, you are bringing good news along with you. Were you able to hunt down some deer? It's almost like you're forgetting who you're talking to, brother Tuck. Here it is, and it's still warm to the touch. I only hope it's enough for the community. By the grace, yes. And now that our people will not have to worry about food, they can finally get to work properly. Hmm. And that means you need not rest for too long now. If we want to be effective, we, and by that I mean you, need to gather more resources for the village's expansion as soon as possible. Sounds like another invigorating task. What would you like me to fetch? Just some rocks. For the furnace, I have got a blueprint of, my friend. We need something to smelt the iron ore into ingots if we want to have good tools. Okay. So be it then. I will be back when I have enough. All right, did you give me a pick? No. All right, so how am I going to gather stone? Area suitable for gathering stone. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. We're going to need, um, well, we got 15 and 15 food. We're going to need 60 stone. Oh, 60 stone? Am I getting one stone per pickup? Or I don't think so. I think I got more than one stone per pickup. Uh, wood will be easy. It's just stone that's going to be uh, the problem here. Are we right on the uh, spot? Yeah, it's kind of along this river, it looks like. Uh, oh, there's another one. No? Damn, man. How many did I pick up? I didn't pick up any? Dude, I hit stone. Oh, it doesn't count until you put it in the storage. I've got 13 stone already. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go look for some other areas for stone. Gathering wood, gathering wood, gathering stone. Really? Only one place for gathering stone, huh? Oh, all right, it is what it is. So I'm just moving around here looking for stone, right? And then I come over here, and there's a little loot container. I guess I should loot that? Aren't I kind of, like, stealing from my people? I guess I'm, I'm Robin, right? But I wouldn't be stealing from my people. All right, well, whatever. If, uh, if they're going to let me take it, I'm going to take it. <laughs> Let's keep looking for stone. All right, I've got enough for everything. Um, I think I need to eat as well. Uh, so I'm going to hold the food on me. I don't know if food spoils. Probably doesn't. Um, hunger, hunger over time. Yeah, I don't think food spoils. So that's good. So I'll, I'll hold on to the food I have on me. You know? And uh, that'll be good. Alright, so what are we doing now? We need to put the stuff in storage. I wonder if I can get rid of some of these yellow markers. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to be able to get rid of some of these because they're kind of like all over the place at this point. 
but I'll mess around with that later. This is not where I want to be. I don't know whose house I just wandered into, but um, <laughs> we need to find a storage place, which is right here. Okay, and we will put that, and we'll put the iron in there. We'll put the wood, the stone, we'll hold on to the bread. Um, wine. I'll hold on to the wine, and it looks pretty good. All right, so now we need to build a furnace. And right here is manage your village. Hell yeah. The village needs expansion, and the builder is a tool to help it grow. Uh, firstly, you'll need to clear the train before construction. So this is really cool. It's kind of like a city builder, but like you're down on the ground. And I think that's really awesome. Really awesome. Um, click on any trees you would like to remove, and then pick the building you would like to construct and place it there. Will I get the wood for the tree? Uh, these trees don't give wood anyway. Never mind. Only certain trees give wood. Don't forget that you need supplies to build and that your villagers need to eat before they work. Uh, be able to, I don't think that the villagers eat over time. At least, that's not my understanding. I think you use the food to build stuff, basically. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, be able to place... Okay, so we have the food. Alright, cool. Alright, so... I forget what it wanted me to build now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, build a furnace. Okay, I could do that. Alright, we got everything we need for it. Now where do we want to put it? Um... Oh, that's where they go in. All right. So we have to we have to remove the trees first, it said. So um, let's see how we've removed the trees. What is this? That's the build. That's history. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we need to remove the trees. So let's go back to build. Fireplace. Can we just... Oh, there we go. Uh, you can't, like, drag. Is there any reason to have trees around? There probably will be at some point. You know, like if you're, if you have like a tree cutting place, our workers demand five units. Oh, did I just use all the food on that? Son of a, you know, going out and hunting deer is not that hard once you know how to do it. So I did go out and hunt the deer for the food. No big deal. And now we're going to try and put down this furnace. All right. So I want to put it as close as I can to where I can build it. So that I could go. Oh, it's interesting. Go quite a bit down there. Is this, is this an actual... Hold on, I want to take a look at this area. Can I put it in a different area? Like, I don't see any way to, like, move around or anything to kind of put it in a different area. So, all right. Well, you know what? Let's um, let's go over there and check it out. And, okay, so that's not a road. See, the thing is, I thought this was a road going this way. Okay. So now I see how I want to put it down. I wish I could chop down those trees myself so I don't have to spend, like, food on them. But, all right, so we want to put it like this. And as close to there as we can. Alright, that's too close to the road. It's too close to that. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, cool. Let's go check it out. Build it! Build it, my minions! That's right. You build it. Build it faster! Don't make me tell you again. Better build it faster! Oh, I should probably be careful. Who knows if I can actually hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite think that out. Yeah, this is pretty nice. All right, nice forge. So what I want to build is I want to build. A, I want to build something like I, I don't know what it would be. I guess like a hunting <clears throat> area or something, so they can hunt their own food or maybe even grow crops or something. Who knows? All right, so this thing is almost done. I guess I don't know. Maybe it's not. I don't think it's gonna have full walls. So oh, it's got the waddle. It's got the waddle walls. Is that what it's called? Waddle? I forget. That waddle fence. I like that stuff. Jeez, I thought it exploded. Oh, God, really, game? Give me a freaking heart attack. All right, so now we can make ingots. Beautiful. All right, so am I still in a tutorial or or what? <laughs> yep, here we go. Let's talk Finally, to him. Finally, Silwich has its own furnace. Imagine all the tools you could make with its help. However... Aren't we lacking a smithy to make them? Precisely, dear Robin. I did not want to put too much work on your back at once, but it is a necessity. Please take this pickaxe because we are going to need oars for that. Come back when you have enough. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's put that as number three. And put in storage. The wood is fine. We're going to need more stone. We're going to need iron. And we're going to need more food. Yeah, I, if I had my way, I would, like... Make a way for them to go hunt their own food first and foremost. Alright, so... Yep. 
Hunting. Rich mineable ores. Gathering wood. Oh, can you not mine stone? Do I, do I have to, like, gather stone? I can't mine it? That seems weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's doing anything. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go out and get the, uh... Let's go out and get the iron first. I'm at the old mining hole, and there's some kind of thing over here. Pick up broken pickaxe. Well, I already have a pickaxe. So I don't need to pick up you stupid broken pickaxe. I just need to go ahead and mine some stone. There we go. Did I, is that it? It's not doing any more damage to it. Oh, there we go. Maybe I was out of... Out of uh, we gotta pick this stuff up. Maybe I was just out of range or something. Here, let's try this one again. There we go. Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, you gotta hit it from different angles or something. Oh, I'm actually getting stone. Alright, cool. I was hoping... I was hoping I'd be getting stone. So we have enough stone. Uh, wait, we don't have any iron? Oh, no iron ingots. Oh, so we must have iron on us. Uh, mineral rocks smelted and turns into bars. Is it one for one, though? Like, I have no idea how much to get. Because I don't know if it's a one for one trade-off. You know what I mean? So, I guess I'll just mine a bunch of it. Kind of see where we end up. Went ahead and hunted a bunch of animals, and we now have everything I need. Unfortunately, I put it in the box, because I thought that's where it's supposed to go. That is not where it's supposed to go. Well, kind of is where it's supposed to go. Um, if I want to make iron ingots, I have to have the stuff on me. I thought maybe you would take it out of, like, the town storage, but that is not the case, I guess. Um, it does take two items per, so let's go ahead and make ten. There we go. So it's going to take 20 wood, and we're going to need more wood. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to need to replace that 20 wood, because I think we need 50 uh, to continue the quest line. So we can make iron, silver. Oh, we can make bread. Flour, salt, wood, and water bottles. Well, does it give the does it give the empty water bottle back? That's that's what I'm wondering. But five wood's not a problem. I don't know where we're getting a flour and salt. I do have some flour and salt, uh, I think somewhere. But the problem is, um, like, can we grow it? Like, I, I want to be able to grow it or something like that. All right. Well, let's go get some wood. And the wood area is oh, it actually has little wood areas on there. Cool. We're gonna go to a different wood area this time. We're going to go up this way. Can we go up there? Is this the way to go up there? This is where we started. Yeah, I think this is where we started. Alright, so the wood area is right back here. Let's grab our trusty axe. And I'm going to ask these trees a question. And they better have the right answer. You better have the right answer, you stupid tree. Um, I don't know what more could happen to it. I'm already chopping it down, so... Alright, so we got 40 wood on us. We're just going to need 50. I'm thinking about, like, gathering more resources than I actually need. You know, because I'm like, oh, I'll need them later anyway. But the thing is, this, if it's a city builder or a town builder, I'm eventually thinking that people are going to be doing this. So I'm not going to do anything I don't have to do, you know, until I until I actually have to do it. And then we'll do it. But, because you never know. You're gonna, oh, I'll chop down, like, 100, 200 trees or whatever. And then, oh, your next thing is you get more, you know, you get people to do that for you. All right, let's pick up these bottles. Anything else in here I could pick up? Yep. Pick up that. By the way, I sold some of the meat and everything. Because I am going to need repair thingies at some point. And um, they're pretty expensive. So. Alright. Put those away. Um, okay. I'll hold on to those for now. Put that and that. And that should be everything. Now we need to build a blacksmith. Oh, man. Well, hopefully we cleared enough enough trees where we can make a blacksmith. Can we can we please make something that's is are these the only things we can make? Don't forget this is like a like a demo or whatever. Um I forget what they called it. But yeah, it's kinda like a well it says it in here somewhere. Um Alpha Demo, yeah, so that we're probably very limited to what we can do. So I'm thinking these three things might be the only things we can make. With this feature, any a any fresh piece of meat can be turned into a nutritious roast. See, I feel like this is the first thing I should make. Because, well, maybe that doesn't count for feeding the people. Like, food is different for me than it is for them. Alright, whatever. Just make the blacksmith. We'll just do what they say. Can we, um... It seems like we can kind of scroll around here. Alright, so that's gonna go like that. And, what, is it, yeah, is it too close, or... Yeah, I guess it can't be that close. Try and line these up. Okay. And then we just gotta let that get built. I went out to hunt some more deer, and I'm getting pretty good at it, man. I'm, like, shooting two or three deer at a time. Uh, pretty freaking cool. 
And I came back with 20 meat, so hopefully that's enough to build the next building. And we'll have to see. I, I don't remember how much it took. I, I think 20 meat will be enough, but I don't remember. Okay, what's up, Smithy? Alright, so you can make me swords, sharpen hatchets. That's what I already have, right? Oh, no, that's a sharpened one. Okay. And that takes iron ingots, lock picks. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Let's go talk to the Tuck. What's up, Tuck? It is a day of sorrow indeed. Our beloved grandmother, Matilda, fell victim to a beastly bear. For the good of our people, please kill it before it causes another such tragedy. I can't believe it. I'll get to it right away. Do you know where I could likely find that bear? It should still be lurking around our dear Matilda's house. Somewhere around Westford. Maybe sitting in its den. What a foul creature. I need to warn you though, that bear is infamously large. Even with your commendable hunting skills, a barrage of arrows will not be enough to put it down. We do have a blacksmith now, so maybe you could get a sword. Hopefully a sword will be enough. Hopefully. Okay, well let's go see if we can make a sword. And then we'll turn off my timer. So where's this bear? Oh, they wants me to make a sword first. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Short sword, long sword. I mean, why not do a long sword, right? Oh, well, we can't because we don't have silver ingots. All right, fair enough. Short sword it is. Base damage, block rate. Okay. Um. Oh, I need all this stuff on me. Oh, we need sulfur. Oh, okay, let me see if we go have sulfur. And I will see if I have all these items. Okay, we are close to the bear now. The forest is riddled with danger, and uh, you've just met one of its heralds. Luckily, Robin has a couple of tricks up his sleeve to counter them. By the way, I made the sword. Um, you can dodge roll away from attacks by pressing spacebar um, while moving sideways, uh, arrow left, right. With the right timing, you can, you can get out of serious trouble. Speaking of time, you can also enter a state of slow motion by pressing F. For, see, I'm not going to remember all this. I'm going to panic, and I'm just going to mash buttons and hope I live. Keep in mind that both these actions will also drain stamina, especially used sparingly. Okay. And here we are. Wow, that is a big freaking... That is a big bear. Oh, it does zero damage. Okay. Well, that's interesting. It looks like he's kind of stuck. Alright, so this will roll. And if I... I'm not going to waste the F thing. Alright, here we go. And that is a, that is a crazy looking bear. It appears your health is low. Remember to keep... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I brought stuff. It's just... This is not a good time to stop me either. But I killed him. Okay. I wonder if that's why they brought it up. Alright. Bear is down. I gotta go back to town, right? I don't have to do anything to the bear. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check out the stables in that town I passed. I did pass a town on the way out here. And I'm gonna check the stables... Because I believe I could probably quick travel back. So let's go check it out. All right. So here are at go. the stables. And for 10 gold coins, I will fast travel back. Sounds good to me. That bear was really tough. i got to be honest with you guys. I'm not sure if that bear was supposed to be stuck. But if he wasn't stuck, I don't think I could have killed him. Like, I don't see how I would have killed him. Because that was a that was a tough fight. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Probably. I'm sure you guys let me know in the comments if that is the case. Let's go ahead and sleep. 
and save the game as Season 1. And that will get us all our hit points back. And let's go turn in this quest. What was that? Okay, so I still have stuff on here. Yep, I'm going to have to, like, scour these villages at some point. Alright, Tuck. Come at me, bro. Uh, let's go ahead and have something to drink first. Talk to talk. How glad I am to see you right now. Word is there is a convoy nearby, and that this convoy is transporting a bunch of imprisoned folk. Surely you will find that worth looking into, right, Robin? Surely I will. We need to help those people. How much time do we have to attack? Enough to make proper preparation, that is for sure. Our men are willing to fight, but we need to arm them first. Leave that to me. I will fetch the weapons and we'll be on our way. Good. And I will reach out to our men and tell them to get ready. Bring us the weapons once you have them. Okay. Sounds good. But that is going to have to wait for it next episode. Guys, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Bye.